Hey, greetings in the name of the Lord, uh, Pastor McDowell here. Uh, first, I just want to say uh, happy 4th of July to you and your family. I just pray and hope that you all have a good day today, good family time, and that you will be safe uh, if uh, you are doing fireworks on uh, this evening. Uh, let's be mindful of our surroundings and make sure that our family is safe, especially our young ones and let them and allow them to have adult supervision. Listen, I'm just excited uh, once again about what God is doing uh, at the Carpenter's House Church. And I want to thank you uh, for being a part of what is happening at the Carpenter's House Church here up into the month of July in 2019. Uh, I just want to encourage you all that we're having a great time in our leadership setting. Um, I want to digress and just remind us on this Sunday, I ministered a word on, on how God wants us to please him. And I took the word please, and I took the six letters in the word please, and I came up with six attributes. And the first one was that God wants us to praise him. And I want to encourage you, no matter what you're going through or up against, whatever you're dealing with, don't let the enemy take your praise. And in other words, don't lose your praise. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. The second attribute was love, the sincerity of our love for our enemies, love for our family, love for our coworkers, love for the stranger. The Bible says, let brotherly love continue. So it's very, very important that we show the love that Christ showed us. The next letter was the E, and I want us to really be encouraged with this. Try your best to give everything to God, every problem, every circumstance, uh, every mishap, every hiccup in your life. Do your best to give everything to God. Can you say amen? The next letter was an A, and I talked about acknowledging God. Wherever we are, let everybody know who you belong to who saved you, who delivered you, and who set you free. That's acknowledging God for who he is. The Bible says he is an author and the finisher of our faith. The next letter was an S word, and it talked about sowing a seed. And the point that I like that really point on Sunday, on the, June the 30th, because it talked about your sowing record should indicate your reaping season. So we have to sow in order to be pleasing unto the Lord. And the last letter was the E, where it talked about evangelizing. You and I are called to evangelize, to please God. Matthew 28 and 19 tells us to go ye therefore and make disciples, baptizing them and teaching them in the name of Jesus. Then verse 20, he says, lo, I'm with you always, even to the ends of the earth. So I want us to be encouraged with that, that he wants us to please him. And I like the life groups on last week. They talking about pleasing God in the midst of your suffering. Do you know God calls us to suffer? If Jesus suffered for my sins and your sin, we ought to be willing to suffer a little bit for all that he has done for us. Can you say amen? So be encouraged with this. This Sunday on July, I believe it is the... Don't know the date, but this Sunday we'll have communion. We will also be hearing part three from the series. He wants us to please him. It'll be a short dynamic message with an illustration. You don't want to miss this illustration. It's going to bless you tremendously. And we'll go right into our communion after that. But once again, happy 4th of July to you all. Oh, also, if you want the handout, if you want the full filled in handout, this Sunday sermon with the life group lesson filled out in its entirely, please send me a text message or an email and I'll get that to you in a timely manner before we meet again on Sunday morning. Listen, I want to really encourage you with this. I want us all to purposely go to the website, www.thecarpenterhouse.org. I'm going to say it again www.thecarpenterhouse.org. 
I want us all to purposely go to the website. Let me say it like this. One reason I'm making this video, and I do all my videos, I want you all to first subscribe to our YouTube page. There's a put a word on it Bible study that's coming up from yours truly here in the new future. But the reason I want you to go to the website, because we have created a building campaign. I don't know if all of you remember, but on April the 7th, through our 12th year anniversary, I made an announcement where I want every family to contribute $3,000 to our building campaign for our anniversary in April of 2020. So right now we have roughly about 10 months per family, 10 months to raise $3,000. I want you to go to the website and click building campaign. When you click building campaign, you'll be able to see the letter that the Lord has allowed me to glean from my very own uh, overseer to give you a step-by-step -step procedure on how you and I can raise the funds. Yes, my family, me and my wife, we've already started to raise our $3,000. Also, I want you to go to the giving link on the website because sometimes I make videos, not sometimes, but most of the time, because it's been an issue getting us all together at the same time. Well, I want you to go to the giving link because on there you'll see a PayPal link, a um, push pay link, a give link, and a tie.lie link. And each of those links are available to you. If you're going to miss service, if you're on vacation, there is opportunity for you to give even if you're not there. Why am I saying that? Because I want us all to be blessed. And you're only blessed by how well you sow your seed. There's a seed in my hand. There's a seed in your hand. It's time for us to sow. I desire and I'm praying for our church to be 100% tithe payers. But you got to help me. You got to help yourself. Can you say amen? So go to the website and look at the building campaign. Hit the giving tithe link and see the five different ways you can give to your church. The Carpenter's House. Remember, www.thecarpenterhouse.org. Also, I'm excited, just a little sidebar on July the 12th, I believe, or July the 10th, I believe. I don't know the exact date, but I know Victory and Praise in Modesto is having a prayer conference. Uh, you can go to Victory and Praise uh, in Modesto.org for more information. If any of you like to be a part of that, please just give me a, a shout, a text, email, or phone call those that know my number, and uh, we'll see about uh, you getting there. Amen. Uh, also, I'm just really excited about what God is doing. Don't forget this Sunday, bring a friend, touch somebody and bring a friend. Carpenter's House Cafe is on the way. It's in the planning stages. I'll be working with my team a little bit on the discussion here on next Monday. And so we're getting ready and getting excited. About but listen, once again, have a happy, happy 4th of July. It's a celebration of our independence. Hallelujah from the 13 colonies and into one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You have what God has given you. Use it for his honor and for his glory. I'm Pastor McDowell. I look forward to seeing everybody in the place on Sunday morning. Get ready. Get ready for a good word. Point part three. He wants us to please him. Take care. I love you. Go to the website. You'll be blessed. That's where the information is. Take care. I'll see your smiling face. God bless.